Hey guys, just a quick video today of a knife that I finished up. I finally uh, am finding time and getting back out in the shop. I placed a bunch of orders yesterday for some uh, fresh materials. I was kind of starting to run out of steel and micarta and all sorts of stuff. So I have some uh, new materials coming and I finally have the time now to get back out here and start uh, getting some knives going again. So in the meantime, I do have uh, one blade finished here. Uh, it's not a cheap one, but it kind of uses all the premium materials that I had. So this is a uh, CPM S35VN uh, stainless blade with uh, unidirectional carbon fiber scales and the, uh, the chain ring bolts uh, for the hardware. So these scales are removable. Uh, it's just uh, just over 200 thou thick, so it's you know shy of a quarter, but thicker than 3 sixteenths. Um, a bit of a heft to it. I did drill out underneath the scales, but it's definitely got a good solid weight to it. Substantial, feels really substantial in the hand. It's a nice sort of uh, compact size. You can see uh, when I hold it, you still get a nice full grip on it with room for some uh, some spare. But I definitely brought the edge back as far as I could, um, just in front of the index finger there to give uh, as much cutting length as I could. So uh, this one's going to be 250 shipped so by the time you factor in the shipping and the PayPal fees and everything the actual cost that you pay is about 220 because it's usually about 20 bucks for me to ship and plus the fees on 200 bucks is seven eight bucks or whatever on PayPal so um, that's gonna go up on my website I actually need to renew my membership on blade forum so I won't be putting this one up on the forums but it'll be available to you guys here so I'm not sure if this is gonna pick up good in the light but you can see the unidirectional there sort of looks like a like a wood grain almost but it's a uh, carbon fiber so it looks really nice the uh, the bolts are nice and centered one thing that bugs me is when you see knives and the uh, the pins are off centered and sometimes they're really bad and I just don't understand why you can't take the time to make them centered so uh, little things like that and the blade just came together really nicely nice belt satin finish on there makers mark just here on the top uh, very lightly knocked the uh, the edges off the spine here so it's comfortable there's no uh, 90 degree angle that's going to jab into your finger so um, so yeah guys that's the blade it comes with an OD green kydex sheath really really good retention not even any wiggle in this one and it just uh, pops off so uh, that's the package guys like I said 250 I'm going to be putting up my website as well in addition to that I have this little sort of uh, 01 skinner I'm working on it's going to have uh, brown liners and lightning strike carbon fiber scales might work on that one a bit today and actually has titanium two titanium tubes for the pins instead of using a solid pin but uh but yeah so like i said i placed an order yesterday for some steel i'm going to go back to basics and start doing some of the uh the blades and designs that i did right back when i started actually, i actually have some templates here this psk model is a pretty good seller for me version two and version one of the edcs i'll be making some more of those i actually got some quarter inch thick 01 coming so uh I'll be building some uh, pretty beefy uh thick sort of fixed blades but, uh, but that's it for now, guys. If you have any questions, uh, you can always email me. I'm going to take some pictures now and get this up on my website. But uh, 250 shipped. Uh, it's a really nice blade overall. Nice uh, convex edge. I'd Instead of doing the, uh, the flat bevel for the edge, I always put my secondary bevel on, on the slack part of the belt, so it's actually a convex edge. And, like the, the micro bevel, if you will, is convex, so all you have to do is drop it to keep it sharp. But, uh, but that's the package, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want pictures or anything else, let me know. And uh, that's it for now, but stay tuned, so I'm going to be doing lots more videos, I'm going to be getting lots more blades made, so uh, I'm going to get some emails from people asking if I'll have new stuff available, so um, everything's on order, and in the next month or so I should have lots more stuff coming out, so uh, thanks for watching guys.